figure three shows the design for a sign at a bird sanctuary. The design consists of a kite O A B C. You can see here this is O A B C. This is a kite and a sector O C X A. There is a sector O C X A. This is the sector. In the design O A is equal to O C and is 0.6. I mean this is 0.6. This is 0.6. A B is equal to C B. This A B and C B they are equal. And they are 1.4 meter. 1.4 meter, 1.4 meter. Angle OAB is equal to angle OCB is two radian. Angle OAB, this angle, this angle, angle OAB, OAB is equal to angle OCB. This is OCB. This angle means this angle and this angle. They are given equal to two radian. This is two radian. This is two radian. <clears throat> and angle AOC, AOC is theta, theta radian. Making your method clear, show that theta is equal to 1.64 radian to three significant figures. Now you have to prove that this angle theta is equal to 1.64 radian. So in other words, you have to find this angle. Now, basically, in this case, you will use your uh, trigonometric rules that include, uh, you, you can say it might include in that one, sine rule, cosine rule. So accordingly, you can use that one. If you look at that one, uh, uh, if you, you consider this kite here, let me make it this one, because in case of kite, we know that if this is the, this kite that we are having, this total angle is theta. So as per rule, what it should be, this will be theta over two, this will be theta over two, all right? I have this one 0 0.6, this is 1.4. If this is O, this is A, this one is B. So I actually, if I will find this one, to find, I should consider the triangle. Hmm? I should try to find OB, all right? I will try to find uh, OB here. For OB, if I just consider this triangle, let's say consider this triangle only. Because we need that one to do this. This is O, this is A, and this is B. This is 0 0.6, this is 1.4, and uh, Somehow, let's try to find, it's given that O, A, oh, I, I make it wrong, I'm sorry. Actually, in the question, I was confused that why is like that, and now I carefully have looked at this one. Actually, this angle is given that this is two radian, it's O, A, B, and this is, again, O, C, B, this is two radian. So you have to prove that this angle theta. So for theta, you know, in the kite, this angle will be half. This is half, this is half. So I know this is two radian. And uh, to find this angle, you know, what I can do, I have uh, one way is this one. Uh, let's say this angle is theta over two, because obviously if total is theta, so this will be theta over two. So I can use that, this one, uh, this over this, so this over this. So either I need to find this side, because if I will have OB, then it, it will be easy for me to find this angle. Otherwise, directly I cannot uh, find that. I have this angle, I have, I don't have this angle. So for example, if, if you use sine rule here, so not possible for you to find that one because you need this side OB also. So using a cosine rule, find OB. What OB will be equal to, it will be square root of, you know, the 
other two side square 1.4 square plus 0.6 square minus 2 into 0.6 into 1.4 cos of the angle. Now here we have cos of uh, I will write here cos of 2 radian <clears throat> now let's say I use the cosine rule that you already know if you have this one O B A so if you have to find this side square of this square of this minus 2 and then you, you use this angle simple cosine rule I'm using here so O B will be equal to now I will have here let's calculate this one Calculate all that and make sure your calculator should be in the radian mode. Convert it into radian mode and calculate all that factor. Square root of 1.4 square plus 0.6 square minus 2 into 1.4 into 0.6. Call of 2 radian. So I'm getting it 1.737. One point total overall, this one I'm getting OB is equal to 1.737 meter, you can say. I found OB. Now, after I found AB, now what I should do, I will try to find this angle now. So consider this, this triangle. Here you have now, this is the triangle. This is O, this is A, this is B. And this we know, this is theta O2, this is uh, 0 0.6, this is 1.4, and this we found is 1.737. So let's find that one now using, and this one already we know is a two radian. So now you can use a sine rule. Sine rule is, you know, uh, A over sine A, I mean, you can say 1.4 over this angle, 1.4 over sine of theta over 2 is equal to this divided by that 1.737 divided by sine of 2 radian. Now I have to find theta over 2 here and ultimately then I will prove that theta is 1.64. So cross multiply, I will have 1.737 into sine of theta over 2. That will be equal to 1.4 into sine of 2. So from here it will be sine of theta over 2, 1.4 into sine 2 over 1.737. And what will be theta over 2? It will become sine inverse 1.4 into sine 2 divided by 1.737. Okay, so let's calculate this one now. Make sure your calculator should be in radian. So sine inverse, 1.4 into sine 2 divided by 1.737. So we got it 0 0.822, 823 you can say by rounding that one. Zero point h to 3 that is theta over 2 so what will be theta then 0 0.823 multiply by 2 so multiply this with 2 you will get 1.645 theta is 1.645 so to 3 a significant figure it will be 1.64 radian to 3 significant figure and this was the question question was saying to 3 significant figure you have to prove that theta is 1.64 radian. And then the part B is saying, find the perimeter of the, uh, of the sine in meter to two significant figure. Now perimeter is the outer boundary. For outer boundary, if you know, if, if you see, we know this one, we know this one, we just need to find this one. This arc length we need to find. And for arc length, we need the central angle. What this angle will be, this angle will be 2 pi minus theta. And theta we know already now. 
So using uh, the formula L is equal to R theta, this R length if I have to find. So what will be the R length? L is equal to R theta. R, the radius is 0 0.6. Okay, multiply theta. Theta is 1.64. Let's, let's calculate this one. So we have 0 0.6 multiply 1.64. So we have 0 0.984. Now that is L. So what is the total perimeter? Total perimeter now will be this L plus, look here, because that is your L, arc length. Total arc length, plus this one, plus this one, because outer boundary. So that will be, if we will take here 1.4 plus 1.4. I will take it 1.4 plus 1.4. So L is 0 0.984 plus 1.4 plus 1.4. So let's calculate that one. We have 0 0.984 plus 1.4 plus 1.4. So that will be 3.784 meter. This is the perimeter of this shape. Oh, sorry, it, this angle actually theta, that is the angle that is made at the center. And if you can see here, this is two pi minus theta. So it should be two pi minus theta and that was a mistake. So that's why answer is not matching. So it should be, uh, let me correct that one. Really sorry for that. You can say it is, and obviously it will affect your result. It is going to be this one. It will be uh, two pi minus theta. So that is 0 0.6 into two pi minus 1.64. That will be, and then calculate this one, 0 0.6 into two pi minus 1.64. So we have 2.7, nine if I round that, so 2.79. So then here it should be 2.79. Uh, so if we use a 2.79, then this will be different, 2.79. And now calculate that, 2.79 plus 1.4 plus 1.4. So it's 5.59. The, and up to how many figures it said that to three significant or to two significant figures. So up to two significant figure, it will become 5.6 meter. That is. So now we corrected that one as well. Now the part C is find the area of the sign in meter squared to two significant figures. So for area of the sign, actually what you need, you need this area and you need this area. So first uh, for this one, for this sector, I will find the area because it will have the two parts. One part is the sector and the other part is the kite. So I will find the area of the sector. We know that in the radian mirrors, the area of the sector, mean the total area, area of the sign will be what? Area of sign will be area of sector plus area of kites. Okay, first let's find the area of the sector. What is the area of sector? The formula for area of sector is one over two r square theta. Theta means the angle that sector is making. And we know that in that case, theta is two pi minus 1.64. So it will be one over two into 0 0.6 square into two pi minus 1.64. Let's be like this one. And then all together, we will do the calculation. And then uh, what is the area of the kite if we have to take here? Now for area of the kite, if you carefully look at that one, kite is actually having the two triangles, this triangle and this triangle. So total, it will be two times the area one of the triangle. Now, if I draw this triangle here, that is it's like this one, we, we are having a, this is a triangle, one triangle, and then the other similar triangle is here. This is O, A, B. So you can say the area of kite will be, area of kite is two times 
area of triangle OAB. So now I have to. I, I know that this one is uh, theta over two, one point six four divided by two. This angle we know is zero point eight two. This is zero point eight two radian. This is two radian, and this one is one point four, and this one is zero point six. So for triangle, you can use the formula if you know the two sides and angle between them. So what will be that one? It will be two into one over two. Multiply the two sides. Zero point six. Multiply one point four. Find off angle between them. That is. So put this values here. You will get your area of the complete sine. So now, what will be the area of sine? Area of sine will be area of the sector, which we found already is this one. Is the area of sector one over two into zero point six square into two pi minus one point six four plus two into one over two into zero point six. Into one point four sine of two radian. Okay, let's calculate that. It is one over two multiply zero point six square into two pi. Minus one point six four to close, then plus two into one over two multiply zero point six multiply one point four multiply sine of two. Make sure calculator should measure should must be in the radian measure. So you have one point five nine nine five. That is one point five nine nine five. So up to how many significant figures you have to do? Let's say it is to two significant figures. So round it to two significant figures. So two significant figures first and second. That will become one point six meter square. That is the area of the full sine. 